Here is a list of courses that do not require an eText setup. And here is a list of courses that will require a brief setup when you access the eText for the first time. First, we'll show an example of a course that does require a brief eText setup. If your course does not require an eText setup, you can skip ahead to later parts of the video. In courses that require an eText setup, the first time you click on an eText link within the course, you will be asked to complete a brief registration screen. You will be able to either join an instructor's eText with access to instructor notes, highlights, and customizations, or join an eText self study mode. From the main screen, click on the eText link. Here you will see the two options. If your instructor has set up an eText, enter the course ID in this box. You can also search by course title, instructor last name, or institution name. If you would like to work independently in the eText without instructor notes, highlights, or customizations, you can simply click Go to eText. In this example, we have an eText course ID provided by the instructor. When you find your course, select Join. On the new page, you can verify the course information and click Go to eText to display the eText in the viewer. Your eText course ID is displayed at the bottom right of the eText viewer. The course name and section name are displayed at the top. If you have joined an instructor eText, you can see highlights and notes written by your instructor. Let's take a look at these. Any blue highlight is highlighted by your instructor. When you mouse over it, it will say Instructor Highlight. A green push pin will indicate an instructor note. Double click to view the notes. You may also make your own private highlights and notes. These will be distinguished with a different color. If you've joined a self-study course, you will not have access to instructor notes or highlights, but you can still make notes and highlights on your own. Let's take a look at the toolbar in your eText viewer and what each button means. This icon will take you to the last page visited. To go forwards and backwards in your eText, click on the next page or previous page buttons. You can also click on the side of either page. To jump to any page, you can type in the page number. You can use the magnifying glass to zoom in and out. Here, you can fit to width or fit to page. You can bookmark a page, which will then be available in your bookmarks. You can also make highlights, and write notes to yourself.
Notes are always accessible on the left nav bar. Your notes manager will always show you a list of notes. If you would like to view a two-page view, click this icon. In this way, you can look at the text as if you were opening a book. Of course, you can always return to single-page view. Every e-text is different, but there are some very important icons that appear in your e-text. Here is the audio icon. Click it to launch the audio player. Often, especially in vocabulary lists as in this example, individual words and phrases will be highlighted. This means that they are clickable and you can listen to the pronunciation of the terms. The video icon will launch video.